she's got a sprinkles. All right, here we are in the Zago Studio Gallery. And uh, this is Cupcake. I'm gonna give Cupcake a little haircut today. This rainbow colored tail is getting a little bit ratty. So I'm gonna take off the split ends. And um, Melissa, why don't you tell us a little bit about Cupcake? Well, Cupcake comes from a kill shelter where she was adopted about six years ago. And um, she is an Insta-famous dog. You can follow her at Cupcakes Chronicles, and actually Cupcakes Lower Score Chronicles. And her mission statement is see the colors around you and not the colors that find you. And she's all about mindfulness and just looking at the beauty of the world and, and not thinking about all the things that stress people out in day-to-day -day life. And she's all about acceptance and empowerment and she even has a line at Hot Topic of shirts that you guys can purchase on hottopic.com and has so much fun going on adventures and raising money for the Humane Society, things like that. That's awesome. So how did you get started on this cupcake idea <laughs> to, well, yeah, this um, is, a, a, we have this Shih Tzu here and Cupcake has a rainbow colored tail. Someone thought of this, right? Yes, so her mom, Suzanne Matson Palando, she um, is a stylist, and she's, an ama she's amazing with hair, uh -huh. and she rescued her. And her daughter, at the time, was really ner socially, had a lot of social anxiety, and was nervous to talk to people. So she thought, huh, what if we put color in her tail? Um, yeah. It would be a conversation piece. And it did. It became a conversation piece for her daughter, Audrey. And people would come up to her to ask her questions about the dog. And then Audrey would open up and talk. And then they, Audrey was like, let's do an Instagram. So they did an Instagram just for fun. And she just started getting so much attention and so many followers. And um, she's my best friend. And so she was like, Melissa, this is turning into something. Sure. This is, you know, a, Cupcake has a great message to spread of acceptance and empowerment and all these mindful things. And we started going to red carpet parties. We went to Comic-Con. We just took her all over the place. For yeah. Appearances. It's incredible. Yeah. So, so Cupcake is going to be an animation series pretty soon? She will, yes. It's the, in the works. And so... Um, you were telling me a little bit before about how somebody in your family actually created Scooby-Doo. Yes. Um, my uncle Kenny Spears is um, the co-creator of Scooby-Doo. Um, and he had Ruby Spears production. Uh -huh. He also did Transformers and Chipmunks and a few other cartoons. Wow. And it's he, he worked for Hanna-Barbera back in the day. and. They modeled Scooby, the name Scooby Doo is from a Frank Sinatra song. Really? Mm -hmm. So. And that's how they came up with it. With Frank, Scooby -Doo -Doo. Frank Sinatra wrote that song. No, Frank Sinatra just had a song that had Scooby Dooby Doo in it. What song is that? You know, I, I don't Do you know? remember the exact name of it, but he sings that. Yeah. And that's how they were like, oh, let's call it Scooby Doo. A little Jeez. trivia. That's good to know. Yeah. So you're carrying on the Scooby-Doo legacy, basically, with the Cupcake Chronicles. Absolutely. That's so cool. And uh, when you came in here, Cupcake actually was riding in a car. Yes, Just she was. a little convertible car. You want to talk a little now, bit? Now, the car is Magical Majea, which is part of her animation. And Majea is this, or actually, the car has a unicorn horn that comes from the magical Majea, which is part yeah. of the cartoon. And basically, there's a tracker that takes her car wherever she's needed. For people that are even sad and lonely, or her followers are called Sprinkles. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so, it's the whole story comes together. Yeah, that makes sense, being yeah. like a cupcake and all to have yeah. the Sprinkles. Yeah, the cupcake and the Sprinkles. Sure. And that's why there's the big unicorn on the top. And Yeah. So... Last night I was thinking about cutting Cupcake's hair and um, got a little bit inspired and decided to paint this painting. It's a cupcake. Beautiful. And uh, I was thinking, well, how could I add some sprinkles? So I decided that 
If I, I could probably use some of Cupcake's hair and hairspray them onto the canvas to make them look like sprinkles. So. Oh my gosh, what a great idea. I love it. So yeah, that's what I'm up to right now. And uh, awesome. yeah, getting some of these split ends off. So do you know like the process um, for your hairdresser to color Cupcake's tail? Have you? She actually had, um, it's actually magic and the unicorn turned her tail that color. And so that's the process. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Well, um, thank you so much for bringing Cupcake in here. Wow, that's amazing. Look I think, at that. I think we've live. got some live art. That's amazing. Some nice cupcake sprinkles on the canvas now. So let's see if we can lock it into place with a little hairspray. Look at that. Awesome. How cool. Awesome. All right. Good job, Cupcake. She's got her sprinkles, amigos, all of her friends. When I need someone to lean on, who I can depend. When I'm feeling lost and lonely. I got Cupcake, 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 Cupcake. Drives a little pink bands with the rainbow seat back. Unicorn glow, now your average flea bag. Sprinkling the world, yeah, I know you see that. Frosting with the curls, puppy love, believe that. Cupcake, 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 cupcake. I got cupcake, 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 cupcake. She's got her sprinkles, amigos, all of her friends. When I need someone to lean on, who I can depend. When I'm feeling lost and lonely. Cupcake, 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 cupcake. I got cupcake, cupcake, cupcake.